Hey y'all, welcome to another week of the Mama and Mini Show with Shola and Iman. Today we have a kind of fun video to film. I decided I'd switch it up a little bit. We're going to be doing a review. Can you show what we're reviewing? Yeah. We're reviewing some hair products that we bought from Love Smoothie Pie, which is a kids hair care brand. I'm excited to try it. I've been wanting to try Love Smoothie Pie for a long time, and I finally went ahead and bought some of their products. So I'll be taking y'all through Iman's hair routine when we give her a bath, and I will be giving y'all my honest opinion on these Love Smoothie Pie products. Are you excited? Are you ready to get your hair done? Yeah, you don't like getting your hair done. <laughs> But you have these new products, so let's try them and see how they are. So the smoothie... Oh, you want to do this video or are you going to let me talk? So the Smoothie Pie products are made specifically for babies. Some of you may know Iman... Yeah, you have dry skin sometimes. Iman has dry skin sometimes and um, she has eczema, baby eczema. So I'm excited to try these products and see how they work on her hair because they are formulated with babies with sensitive skin in mind. Bye, bye. Yeah, we're gonna do something to that head, girl. So because I knew that the products were coming in the mail today, I didn't do anything with her hair today because I just wanted to wait till we filmed this and went through her whole little routine. Here you go. Iman has a very kind of loose texture a little bit. Her hair is finer than my own hair and Al's hair. And it also, um, she has really long hair in the middle, but around the crown of her head, um, her hair breaks off really easily. And then right where she sleeps, there's a shorter patch. So um, I got some products that I hope will hopefully help her hair um, become a little bit stronger and not break off as easily. So we'll see. So I actually found Smoothie Pie Organics through Instagram. They have great social media and Instagram marketing because I always see all of these moms all over Instagram talking about how Smoothie Pie is great and they put up their pictures and it just looks like the products are really good. Yeah, so I decided to try it. So here we are, it's bath time. For any of my new mamas who may be watching this, when your baby is first born, you do not have to give them a bath every single day. Two to three times a week is more than sufficient. I believe we even, I think we just bathed the mom twice a week when she was first born. When you're running your baby's bath, as newborns, you have to be very, very careful with temperature because um, things that just feel slightly warm to us feel a lot hotter to newborns. So it's important that you err on the colder side. Don't make it cold because as you know, baby's body temperatures get affected really easily and you don't want them to be cold. Babies get cold very easily, but lukewarm is definitely all you need for a baby bath. Are you showing your duck? Imani can take her water a little more warmly now, but Morning. even still, uh, if, if the water is even slightly hot, then, um, like, and I'm talking slightly hot, like not even really hot at all, I notice that her skin gets red, she can't really take it. So be very careful with um, running baths for babies and make sure they're lukewarm, that's all you need. Also, when you take your newborn out of the bath, I would suggest you just have a towel ready, you make sure that your AC is off because because they get very cold very easily, especially when you're taking them out of the bathtub. Okay, so to start our wash day, I'm gonna try something that we don't try that often. Al and I got her this cool wash day like crown to keep water out of her eyes when I wash her hair because she hates water getting in her eyes. But the problem is she has not figured out yet that this crown keeps the water out of her eyes, so she hates the crown too. So we'll see how this goes. So. Yeah, we have her crown on. Ah! So to start off, I wash her hair with yeah. Aquaphor shampoo. I wanted to try the Smoothie Pie shampoo, but um, Smoothie Pie was sold out of their shampoo when I ordered, so I'm just gonna stick yeah. to what we know, right, Iman? I'm gonna stick to our Aquaphor shampoo, yes. Yes! Yeah. And we're just gonna lather that on there and wash that head, huh? Okay, so she didn't like the crown. 
But we're washing our hair right now. Yes, we are. And one thing I liked about Smoothie Pie was that um, they have all of their products are organic. It's actually called um, Smoothie Pie Organic. And it's all natural oils and natural ingredients, so I really appreciate that. Okay, now let's rinse your hair. The first Smoothie Pie product we're going to use is the Baby 2-in-1 Conditioner. Can I show the camera? Yes, the Baby 2-in-1 Conditioner. I'm so excited! Yes, I'm so excited! Their stuff sells out really, really quickly and they might not have it for a while. So I slept on getting the stuff and now I do not have the shampoo, but we have the conditioner, so here we go. All right, so we're gonna put a good amount in your hair, right, baby love? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. I use a Denman brush to comb through her hair while she's in the tub and while her hair, yeah, and while her hair is wet because it's just easier that way. I also give her her own brush to play with because it's also easier to distract her that way. I really love how the Denman brush works on her hair. Cause like I said, her hair um, is pretty loose. And so the Denman brush just does a great job of taking out all of the knots and things like that, but still giving her enough, there's still enough room in between the bristles that her hair is not being yanked out. Turn, I, 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 I. Sit still. Sometimes I gotta get with it. Moisturizing and it's light. Some conditioners, especially for baby hair, I've noticed, um, they can be a little bit heavy. And I don't like to bog her curls down with product. Yes, I'm, re I'm really liking this so far. Like I said, it's light, it's not bogging her curls down. But you can see it working, her curl pattern coming out. Oh, look at them curls, girl. Nice that we can run our hair through them, nice and combed out. Hey, hey, my baby. My baby. After I comb the conditioner through her hair, I normally let it sit in her hair while I wash her up. Mm -hmm. So that I can really moisturize and get that hair looking popping, right? So I'm about to wash her up and we'll be right back. I use Aquaphor Baby Wash to wash her up, if anyone's wondering. Iman suffered from baby eczema that took a while for us to kind of get a handle on. Um, and the Aquaphor works really well for her skin, so I didn't want to change it up. But um, Smoothie Pie does do um, a baby eczema body wash. So if anybody is looking for something that might work on their baby skin, that might be something you want to try out. Thanks for hanging in there with me, y'all. I don't do these vlog style type videos normally, so hopefully it just gets better from here. 
Okay, now I'm gonna rinse the conditioner out of her head. Her hair is nice and combed out and moisturized now. So you can really see the moisture right now. Um, and it looks really good. So let's see how it looks when we get out and we dry it and we try our next Moody Pie product. Mommy, 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 mommy. Okay, so we're out of the tub. She's all clean and ready for bed. And her curls are looking nice and luscious. I'll take a close up video so y'all can see. This is after using the Smoothie Pie 2 in 1 conditioner and just drying her hair with a towel. Oh, I love you. I love you. So, next, I normally add some leave in conditioner to her hair. Um, Moody Pie um, has a leave-in conditioner that I hear good things about, but I slept on the drop, y'all. I keep telling y'all, I slept on the drop. So, I'm using the Cantu Kids leave-in conditioner that we normally use, which is um, Cantu Care for Kids. Cantu Care for Kids leave-in conditioner. Okay, so one thing I will say about Smoothie Pie, I'm liking the product so far and everything. The packaging is really cute, and um, I love that it's organic and that it's, all these moms have endorsed it. But one thing I will say, the delivery time is not that great. Um, it took a long time for me to get the order, so I placed the order on April 4th, and I received the order on April 27th. Now, this may be because right now, we are dealing with a global pandemic. I did order during coronavirus time, so the delivery times may not be that bad normally. It might not take as long normally, but it took from April 4th to April 27th for me to get the product. So if you're running low on baby, baby hair care and you wanna get Smoothie Pie for their hair, I suggest you don't wait because I'm not sure about delivery time. Okay, so this is after the Cantu leave-in conditioner. So I just use a good amount of leave-in conditioner and make sure that all of her hair gets some leave-in conditioner. Just rub it through her hair and I usually use my fingers to run it through. We are getting ready for bed so I won't be doing an elaborate style. Her curls are looking really nice thanks to this conditioner and leave-in conditioner. They're looking nice and defined and big. And so now it's time for the product I actually was most excited for. Yeah, which is the Baby Stimulating Growth Oil by Smoothie Pie Organics. <laughs> like I said, um, the hair around the crown of Iman's head tends to break off more easily, as well as a little patch in the center where she sleeps on it. So I was really excited about the Stimulating Growth Oil because I've seen amazing results on Smoothie Pie's Instagram page, and I want to see if um, it will help Iman's hair grow in stronger and break less, if it'll give her more hair in the patches that are breaking off. It's not really patches that are breaking off, it's just um, the hair there will be shorter because you can tell some of it broke off, but she doesn't have any patches in her head. So I'm excited about this. This is a stimulating growth oil. It has things like castor oil and yojipa oil in it. It's a good sized bottle, so I was happy about that. I bought growth oils from other companies, not for kids, for myself, and normally the bottles are not very big, so I'm happy that this is a good sized bottle. I show you against her head size. And she got a big old head, so this is a good size bottle. A lot of the other growth oils I bought from other companies for myself, like I said, they've come either um, using eyelid droppers or uh, or just a nozzle, like a nozzle that you um, apply directly to your scalp. This is actually a spray, so I'm interested to try that. So I'm just gonna spray an ample amount on her head and directly onto her scalp, especially in the shorter areas. Oh, and it smells good. So I normally wash Iman's hair um, pretty much every day because she puts like food in it and stuff like that. But if not, about five to six days a week, if not every day. Um, but I don't normally do her whole entire routine. I'll just co-wash or I'll just do a quick wash and condition. 
I'm a lazy natural with myself, so I'm trying to be better at keeping Iman on a hair routine and myself. But um, we are who we are. So I'm loving how lightweight this is. Once again, like some oils could be really heavy on your hair. Um, especially mine's hair, things like uh, castor oil can be very heavy um, if, you, if I just use pure castor oil. Um, but this is very lightweight and it's giving her some nice shine too. Now for our bedtime hairstyle, I'll just be taking a wide tooth comb. Ooh, somebody's tired. They very, very tired. Yeah. And parting her hair so that I can just put it into two puffs for her to go to sleep. As you can see, her hair is looking shiny and healthy and combed and cute and all of that good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So then I cover her hair with a bonnet and we call it a night, right, Mushki? What you think? What do you think of the products? Is it thumbs up? Thumbs up? <laughs> thumbs up? <laughs> okay, so final thoughts on these products. Um, I like them very much. I Next time, I hopefully will have the entire set. I need to just get them when I see them. Um, but I do like them. I do think that the shipping time needs to be a little bit faster. But the products work really, really well. I love that they're organic. I love that they're very lightweight on her hair. And I don't need to use a ton for it to do its job. The thing I love the most is really how lightweight it is. Because, like I said, because she has such fine hair, it is hard sometimes because the products that I use on my hair are... And the products that I would normally turn to are too heavy. And they weigh her hair down. But these don't, and I really like that. I love how these are formulated with babies in mind. I will continue using the growth oil and keep you all updated on the progress of Iman's hair. So follow us on Instagram if you haven't already and you're interested in that. I will probably be updating on Instagram her hair journey and um, how her hair is growing using this growth oil. I will include the link of where to get these in the description box. But if you like, if you want to try the Smoothie Pie products, follow them at Smoothie Pie Organics on Instagram or go on their website at lovesmoothiepie.com. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can see more of me and Iman. Also, check out the Mama and Minnie Show blog. We put up blog posts every week. Topics that don't get covered on our channel get covered on our blog, and it's pretty cool, and it's not just for moms. It's a blog about women's health, motherhood, parenting in general, and just health for people in general. So check it out. We got some pretty cool things on there. And now I have to go and get this little girl into bed. Night-night. Night-night. Bye-bye.